seen throughout this series so far that in patches we've played some, some good cricket. Um, but unfortunately, majority of the first two test matches we haven't played good enough cricket to have success here. So I think as a team we've learnt from the first two test matches um, and I'm really hoping we, hoping we can show that in this third test match. Oh, look, it's always a tough challenge here, that's for sure. I think um, as a captain you would always, and a selector, you would always like to be able to select uh, from your full range of players, the full squad. But with the circumstances that we have, um, we still have 13 players if Matthew Wade is past fit to select from. And, and I'm very confident with, um, with the 11 we decide to go with, we can have success and win this third test. Yeah, I think that's been a big part of the last two days for us as a team preparation-wise. We've trained really well. Uh, today will be no different. Our focus after we made our decision um, a couple of days ago was to look forward and look to this test match. Um, and we've been wholly and solely focused on that as a, as a playing team um, over the past 48 hours. It's, um, there's obviously been a, a lot of media and a lot of talk about the decision that was made. But um, from our side of things as a team, we, need, we know we need to be focused on this test. We know how important this test match is. We know we have to win the next two test matches to level this series. So that is our focus. Um, I seen the wicket yesterday. Uh, I haven't seen it today yet, but I imagine it wouldn't have changed much. There's not much grass to cut off. Um, and it was quite dry yesterday, so it's probably only a little bit drier today. I think the conditions are going to be very similar to what we've faced in the first two test matches. Um, there's no real surprises there. I know I've played some cricket here in Mahali and generally they leave a bit of grass on the wicket and it's nice for fast bowlers, but I'm, like I say, I'm not surprised that uh, all the grass has been cut off. Um, and that's part of international cricket. You know, I think the, the positive to that is at least we've experienced it in the first two test matches as a team. We know what we're in for. Um, we've seen the Indian bowlers, so we, we're a lot better prepared now than um, say what we were before the first test match, knowing the conditions as well as we do and knowing the opposition as well as we do. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to this challenge that lies ahead. Now, it doesn't guarantee success. That's the one thing about preparation. It gives you your best chance if you do everything you can to prepare well, but it doesn't guarantee success. So now, after today, our preparation will be done. And now it's about walking out in the game tomorrow being confident, backing your own ability, playing your natural game and having faith that in your plan it can have success in these conditions and I, I'm really confident that the boys are feeling good about what they've learnt over the first two test matches. I think they're feeling good about their preparation over the past couple of days.